everybody, I am here with Robin Stevens, the author of this amazing book, Mistletoe and Murder, for a festive Q&A. Very festive, we have our jumpers on. We have our jumpers on. We are ready to be festive, we have our mini mm -hmm. Christmas tree, we have our special candy canes. And we have mince pies, even when you can't see them, they're like over there. Yes. Um, so, I'm going to start, Robin, with some festive questions for you. The first one is crucially important. Yep. Obviously, in your books, Hazel mm -hmm. and Daisy always have to have a bun break yep. to help them solve their yep. mysteries. They do. What is the perfect festive bun break? Well, I think my perfect festive bun break is a mince pie. I am a massive fan. I think I make the best mince pies around. Um, but if not a mince pie, it has to have cinnamon in it some, somewhere. It's my favourite spice. I think having something nice and spicy and warm is perfect for Christmas. Yes. Did you know that you're supposed to eat your mince pies in silence and for each mince pie you eat in silence you get a happy month the following year? I will go off and really quite eat 12 mince pies Yeah, then. 12 mince pies, 12 happy months, and I learned that from an Enid Blyton book. So there you go, Enid, Enid, Enid is always right. Um, so okay, my next question is, do you have any favourite Christmas traditions? Um, I, well, actually it's quite similar to Christmas bun break, I always <laughs> make Christmas cookies. Um, I make Yum. gingerbread cookies and I ice them very intricately and that's like the whole afternoon of me just cooking and icing quietly. I love, I love wrapping presents, I'm absolutely terrible at wrapping presents, um, but I have a go. So I, everyone gets books from me because I can't Obviously, wrap anything else. Obviously, they are the best presents. Yeah, um, spending time with family, um, decorating the tree, decorating yeah. the house, I'm, I'm a big fan of Christmas. Lovely. And do you have a favourite Christmas film? I do. It's Singing in the Rain and I have to watch it every Christmas day. Uh, luckily they normally have it on TV, um, but if not I get out the DVD, I can sing along to all of it. It's a festive classic. It's so good. Um, and also, do you have any particular books that you always have to read at Christmas? Um, I am very into Christmas mysteries. Uh, I love Hercule Poirot's Christmas, I love The Adventure of the Christmas Pudding. I love the uh, Sherlock Holmes the Blue Carbuncle. Um, I, I have a whole sort of festive, festive uh, murder mystery pile. That Christmas I really, really is a great read. time it for is, mysteries. It's a perfect time to set a murder. Yeah, absolutely. What would you give Hazel and Daisy for their Christmas presents? Well, um, I think that I would give them, I sort of cheated and I gave them the things that I wanted to give them in the book. I, I had them give them to each other. Um, Daisy, of course, gets a, a detective kit uh, to be a more professional detective, you know, with dusting powder and a proper magnifying glass and stuff. And Hazel gets lots of lovely new notebooks so she can write more adventures. Yes, for writing down her yeah. important case notes when she and Daisy are solving mysteries. Perfect. And what would you yourself most like to find under the Christmas tree this year? I, every year my family asks me this question and every year all I say is I just want books. Oh. I just want a big pile of books and book tokens and more books and cookbooks and yeah, books and books and also lots of shoes that fit me. That would be lovely. I can't ever find shoes that fit me. So a big pile of large shoes would be great. <laughs> books and large shoes, perfect. It's my dream. Are there any particular books that you would really like to get this year? Ooh, um, just to be surprised. I'd like your book, but it's not out until <laughs> February. You February. Say, yeah. So uh, I'll have to wait for I'll that one. Wait. I I already have a list. I start a list very early, and then I I hand it over to all my family members and say, "You can buy me these." Okay, one last bonus question mm -hmm. for you. Do you think that you're on Father Christmas's nice list or naughty list this year? I hope the nice list. I think on balance have been nicer than than naughty. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, certainly had a great so. year. I've had a very nice year. You deserve to be thank on you. Santa's naughty list. I mean, oh, <laughs> no, Santa's nice, nice list. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Robin. Yeah, it's been lovely you. doing this Christmassy Q and A with you. And thank you everybody for listening. Do look out for mistletoe and murder. Hopefully, lots of you will find that under the Christmas tree. In your tree stockings. This year. Ooh, in your stockings. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and stay tuned for lots more Christmassy videos.